Last time, Colton was lazy and just yeah. had somebody make him a coffee. A latte, I believe, is what we had. Um, given your experience in the coffee world, we're gonna let you drive. So you take Thank over you. and show me how it's done. All right, let's see. But you didn't like the latte, you said. I don't like any coffee. So whatever I do, you're not gonna... More than likely. So if you can okay. change my mind here, that's gonna prove your, your prowess behind the I coffee think machine? You... Why is coffee your thing? Well, I used to own a coffee shop together I know, I... with my wife. Right. Why? Well, why did you want to own a coffee We just wanted to have something together. You know? And you like, landed on that? You both yeah. obviously love coffee. Yeah, we do. We do, but we did while we were making it, not before. We were not the huge coffee fans. So your love of coffee came from having the shop, Correct. not having a shop coming from a love of coffee. Exactly. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, all right, so. All right, let's start. What are we doing? We need, we need coffee first. Guys, he's doing it. He's making coffee. Kind of works. We need the milk. Okay, so did you enjoy Which type of milk you oh, need? Oh, well, I mean, you know, I'm on TV now. I need, I need skim milk. Skim milk. The TV adds 10 pounds. But you know, if no, I, we will do with whole milk. So did you enjoy learning about something new when you oh, started yeah, the shop? Oh yeah, I loved it. it you, was just, you just dive straight in, it's like did racing. all the research. It's like racing, you need to like know exactly how much grams of beans that you put, the temperature, the pressure that you put. It's amazing. How did, he, how did you know that's what that did? Well, it's like a steering wheel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this way goes left, this exactly. way goes right. Got it. I'm learning a lot today. I'm learning a lot. So how long did you guys own the coffee shop? Uh, two, no, three years. Three years? Three years. Yeah, from 2018 to 2021. Right. As soon as we won the championship, we said. Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't need coffee shops anymore. I'm an IndyCar champion. <laughs> Must be nice. Would you like have all the fancy designs and make little no, leaves no, and pictures and leaves. little? Okay. Like the heart and the oh, normal you stuff. can do the heart. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, I see no, what you're trying yeah, to do. Yeah, it's kind of a heart, but no. Yeah, it's a it's a so, flower. It's it, it's a flower. You need to use your imagination. Yeah, it's a dandelion after it's been run over by the lawnmower. So did you decide on your flavor? I did it, sir. I need you to decide for me. I don't know. Vanilla? Sure. That that. That describes me pretty well. Caramel? Vanilla. How sweet do you want it? Not too sweet. So just one? Sure. Should I do it? You should do it. I don't trust myself with any of this stuff. I do not either. Okay. I think this should be enough. So that's just we need to liquid. Open. Yeah, okay. So here, this is something I can do. I think I can do a, I think I can stir. Oh, you can stir? I think so. So you win a championship and then you're like, I'm too good for coffee shops now. No, I was not too that? good, but it was in Spain, so it was a pain for my wife to fly back and forth. Do you miss it? Yes. So did you? would you like work every day in the coffee shop? Like were you there? No, not every day, but I would go whenever I wanted to. Yeah, yeah. And I used to work. Yeah, yeah. You'd yeah. be back not there as just much as slinging my... coffees yeah. and... It was quite cool, to be honest. Because um, you're obviously still racing at this point, right? So yeah, absolutely. Were you racing in, you have been in Japan at this it point a lot. was in Japan, especially at the beginning it was in Japan. Right. Then, when I came here in US, I obviously didn't do any more. You moved around a lot. You find it hard moving a um, lot, doing that, kind of getting used to a new area, new culture, new country? It was hard in Japan because yeah. that's very different to what we're used to in Europe. Right. But here in US, it was easy and I loved it. I loved Japan as well, but it was just tougher. Um, but obviously, you miss the family and your food, right. your house, your area. But I'm loving it, so having fun. And you're an indie. I'm in Indy, Carmel. And, and you're loving Indy? We love, except the weather. Well, is the weather better than Japan? In Japan, it was better than Indy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm. Okay, Indy so we don't have that going cold. cold. I it's don't know how crazy people... cold. It's crazy cold. Man, you would hate Toronto. <laughs> you're not built for Canada, I don't think. No, I'm built for Spain, Florida. Right. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> <laughs> So is there any desire to like get back in the biz here in the States? Would you guys think about like opening a coffee shop? Oh, no, no, no. In no. Carmel or something? No, no, no. No? No, no way. Why? Too much work. Too much work? It's a lot of work. Yeah. Compared yeah. to what we do in racing. <laughs> okay, so I have a coffee. Yeah. It is made by a former coffee shop owner and yep. barista and that same person happens to be an IndyCar champion. So I, I imagine not many people have had a coffee made by someone with that specific list of credentials. So I'm excited. 
Uh, it's my I hope it's it's really my drinkable. second ever coffee. So what is it exactly? What did we make? What is it? It's so a, we made a latte with not a lot of coffee, just so it's soft. Okay, a um, soft latte soft with latte vanilla. With vanilla. So vanilla. we cannot go less coffee than what you're gonna drink now. Okay. So if you don't like it, we're this gonna the, stop this, this series right. and we're gonna do like something else. Brunch with hinge. Right. Bourbon okay. with hinge. Exactly. Right. Copy. Okay. All right. Let's so this see. is as uncoffee coffee Good as you luck. get. All right. This just tastes like a warm vanilla milkshake. See? You said you don't like coffee. That's not a criticism. This, that's, that is, um, that's probably the most drinkable coffee that I've had. I still would never order it. Well, but, but it's you're, the you're best leaving. you had It's the so best far. I've had. It's the best I've had. Well done, sir. I'm happy. I appreciate that about you. I appreciate that about you. All right, so coffee shop yep. owner in Indianapolis, probably not on the cards. Not on, no. It's not in the program that we have now. Do you have, I mean, obviously you've done it before, like you and your wife had a business. Do you, are you kind of one of those entrepreneurial people that outside of racing kind of wants to have a side gig or is it well, too much, you want to keep focus 100% on racing or you like the distraction? I like the distraction a little bit. Um, you like having a project. Yeah, yeah. I, I started, well, my dad started the racing team this year, so I'm, I've been involved in that. Um, but I don't want to get as distracted or as busy as when we had the coffee shop, right? Because it was back in Spain. Uh, the coffee shop business is crazy, a lot of work, and it demands your attention 100%, and we don't have that. So, yeah, I'm happy how I am now. Let's see, maybe in the future. But, uh, yeah, I'll stay just driving and no much. And that seems to be working out for you all right so far. So It's working, so it's, I'm not going to change it now so yeah it's I'm, I'm in a happy place now yeah yeah and you guys you guys like living in the states yeah we love it except the weather except Again. the weather which yes. is Indianapolis specific there yes. are other parts maybe that correct do you think do you think you'll stay there post driving like is this home now or will you do you think you'll always end up back in Spain um I don't know well I bet once we stop driving in like hopefully 20 years. Um, <laughs> you want to be like the next Elio who's oh, driving to 47. 46, and, 47. Yeah. <laughs> it's my last one. No, next year, yeah. next year. No, and that's just a TK. Keep, that's yeah, TK. Yeah. <laughs> so I would love that. Yeah, then, yeah. Um, then probably we will go to Spain, obviously. Just uh, That's where our family is. But we're having fun here. Um, it's our home. We don't go home much. Like We go home for Christmas, for December, because there's nothing going on. Right. And it's crazy cold in Indy right. again. Um, <laughs> yeah. But a part here. of that, we uh, we like it, honestly, yeah. Where's, where's like your favorite spot to vacation? Because I feel like people that come from a place oh. as beautiful as Spain, you almost don't have to leave. There's no, like, where do you go that's well, nice? So what do you like to do on vacation? Where do you guys like to go? Our best trip that we had so far, it was Maldives. Oh, yeah. And that was amazing. Beautiful. Yeah. Was that, so, like a, was that like a honeymoon thing or was that just... It was a honeymoon was thing, it? Yeah. yeah. That's what we did the same thing. But we might do, again, even if it's not... Second a, honeymoon. Yeah, second. And then a third that. one. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, every like five years you should do like a nice honeymoon nice, yeah. anniversary celebration. Yeah, we will try that. You probably made life a little hard for yourself by winning a championship your like second year in the series. Normally, you aspire to things and you have goals. Well, you knocked off one of the big ones right away. I know, obviously, you're still trying to win another one, and I have a lot of faith that that's going to happen. But next has got to be the 500. Yeah, 100%. Your 2021 performance, I still think, was one of the greatest non-winning Indy 500 months that I've seen. Thank you. So you've come as close as you can without winning it. What do you have to do different? And what's it gonna mean when, not if, when you manage to win that race? Honestly, I think this race is so important and has so much value and so much history because it's so hard to win. Right. Um, it, it doesn't take only a good day, it takes a good month. And then you have to have a perfect day on Sunday. Um, I think we had good months. Uh, each year gets a little bit better. Already with the open test, I felt that this year I was better than I was last year. And it just takes confidence with the car, uh, confidence with yourself, and a good team around. I think I had everything, we just maybe didn't have the experience, then a little bit of luck, 
Yeah, uh, last year was bad luck, for sure. Last year was a bit of bad luck, but it's it's the same for everybody. Everybody yeah. has to do the same amount of pit stops and the same amount of calls, and we were not on the good side, so. So you, you said you felt a little bit better this year in the open test. Did you do something different? Like, did you work on Indy yourself yeah. over the off season, or is it just another year of experience, you jump back in, and it all just sort of was a bit easier? No, I work especially on my ovals performance. Um, not that my street and road, it's... It's perfect. It's don't, perfect. Don't touch yeah. it. Don't touch it. <laughs> no, but I felt it was where I could gain more, uh, not only for the Indy 500, but also for the championship. Um, and I worked a lot during the off-season on that because I knew I had a really good car last year in ovals, but I wasn't able to extract 100% and I just needed to do that. What do you want to be remembered for when it's all done as a driver? As a driver? Yeah. I would like to win a lot. Um, so obviously, you just want to be like known as the guy that won a lot? Yeah, do you want and, to be known and that he was a good, a nice guy, a normal guy, not like, uh, oh, this racing star. I just feel I'm a normal person. Um, kind of like a Scott Dixon. Yeah. He's just a normal dude. He's a good, he's a good guy to look up to, isn't he? Yeah. He's just a normal person a normal guy. that wins way too much. He's very good at way too many things behind the wheel of a race car. Yes. Okay, so what business are you and I going to open up in Indianapolis together? Um, we could open an off-road. Like a little off-road track. Yes, so you go but with road like, course. Because yeah, they yeah. only have ovals here in the U.S., which I think it's cool. But if we introduce them to off-road road racing, everybody would love it. To Cheers. the best coffee I've ever had, Great. And to our future successful <laughs> business venture. You guys watch this space for when Polo and Hinch have their own off-road road course in Indianapolis area. Cheers, Cheers. buddy.